All right, welcome to part three of our video tutorial on creating the strat neck. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna go over moving some of our curves down to the correct depths according to blueprints. Uh, we're gonna do a few adjustments up here on the curved piece of the neck using our lines that we drew. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to move our bottom piece that we traced. So this section here on our blueprint I'm going to move that down to the right depth. So our whole guitar is going to be from here to here, because this piece is the fretboard and we're not going to draw that in this blueprint. So I'm going to go ahead and the distance between the top of our neck without the fretboard to the bottom right here is 0.635 inches. So I'm going to go into perspective view. I'm going to select this bottom piece and using the gumball tool, I'm going to move it down 0.635 inches. You can see that there. And I'm going to do the same over here. And the reason they're the same, as you can see on this blueprint here, we have our bottom piece here that's going to go in the neck pocket that we made. And they draw a line all the way down, and it connects right there. So they're the same depth. So zoom in about in a bit there. So this is what your model should look like right now. So the next piece we're going to do is we are going to work on the top of our neck right here. And we're going to get it to curve down and we're going to move some of our control points down to get this nice curve. So in order to do that, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move these two lines that we drew to a different layer. So I call them tracing lines because we're basically just going to use them to trace. And I want them to be a different color so it's easy to distinguish them from our other model. So I'm going to rotate it. It's 90 degrees there. Using our gumball tool, I'm going to make them match up and drag them together. So, as you see there, our bottom lines match up. And they're pretty close in front, that should be good enough. Uh, they won't match up on the top again because this is the fretboard, and we're not going to be doing the fretboard here. So, this is the little curve we have to worry about here. All right, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna select our top section of our model here, and I'm gonna turn control points on. And now working in our right view, we're gonna have to move all of these control points down so they fall in the same section as this purple line here. And we want these line, these control points to follow this nice curve right here. So to start off with, I'm going to select as many as I can, holding the shift tool down. Actually, I'm going to go into perspective view for this to make sure I don't miss any, like I did right there. I'm basically going to select all the points. aren't a part of this curve. So I can still go quite a ways here. All right, 
just going to go into the right viewport here. And now I'm going to move them all together. So they match up perfectly on that line there. And then for the rest of them, I'm going to do them manually as we're getting pretty close to the curve. It's important that we're only moving them straight down and that we're using the gumball tool so that we're not changing the shape of it in top view. So right now I'm just moving them straight up and down on the y-axis. I'm not moving them, so I'm not changing the shape of the neck at all. So now that I have it uh, roughly done in the front there, I'm just going to go back and kind of fix it up so it's perfect. All right, so I'm gonna have a look at that in perspective view. So that looks pretty good. Looks like it, how it should. Go to top view, make sure we maintained our basic shape perfectly. We did. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about um, drawing curves between points here, and we're going to start drawing um, connecting points between our two curves in 3D space. So that will be in our next video.